Hey folks, this is Donnie with Standing Goats Rescue. We have a camera that was sent to me by uh, from Voopeak, V-O-O-P-E-A-K. I will have all the links in the description for this trail camera. If you guys are interested in getting one, check below in the description. Uh, I have the links for Voopeak, uh, the link to where you can get this camera and a code for you to use, discount code. This particular camera is a solar camera. It is the model TC22. It has a built-in lithium battery. As you can see right there, no need for dry batteries. It has a built-in battery. It's got a solar panel. I'm going to open this up. I'm going to show you what you get with it. Um, you do not get a memory card. You've got to provide a memory card for it. And I think this one will hold up to a 128. But this is the camera. There's your solar panel on top. Your mounting straps. you got your little keyhole here to run a locking cable through it so you can lock it to the tree. It's got all the little plastic... Um, protective covers on them. I have not opened this at all yet. Uh, I did open it and I charged the camera and that was all that I've done. If you end up getting one, make sure to remove all of the little plastic protective coating, little coverings that they put on the proximity sensors, on the lenses, uh, on your IR lights. Everything's got a protective um, film on it so make sure that you remove that there's not one on the solar panel really neat looking camera it's got two lenses and when it's charged uh, when it's charging the red light will be on if it's uh, taken in sunlight from the solar panel it'll show a red light right here that it's charging when you get it I'm going to show you. It does come with a USB to Type C cable. You get two straps, two mounting straps, and you get a reset key. To, if you need to reset the camera, it's got a reset on the bottom right here. This little plug, this is your battery pack, your battery compartment. That plug right there, Type C, is when you first get it, you plug in the supplied cable into that type C you charge it until the red light goes off when the red light is no longer lit up it is charged it's ready to be put in the field it has uh, you can pass code it uh, like I have with a couple of, of my other cameras now where I can put in a password if somebody gets my camera they can't use it uh, they may steal it and think they have something but they will not be able to use the camera without knowing the password the passcode uh, I want to. It does have a. This is a viewfinder where you can see yourself. You can take sample pictures and videos for lining it up. It does connect to your phone uh, via an app. And all the information where you download the app, everything is included in a very detailed instruction manual for it. It is the Wildlife Cam. There's the code right here. You scan that with your phone and it'll take you straight to the app store where you can download this. You can, uh, you gotta be within, I believe it's 20 meters from the camera to be able to, to change settings, to access your videos and photos via Wi-Fi through the app, your Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Uh, also, there is another USB Type-C right here. This is not a charging port. This one is so you could plug it up to your computer and you can download the picture straight from the camera into your computer. To charge it, you have to use this port. You got two ports. One to view your, feature, your pictures and video clips and offload them onto your computer. Another one to charge your battery pack. But if you're in the field, most of us carry card readers, pop your memory card out, stick it in your card reader, and have access to all of your pictures. I'm going to give you a brief rundown of the specs of this unit. Uh, your memory card is up to 128 gig. 
and you do need to run a class uh, class 10 or higher card the speed rating and it uses the regular uh, SD memory cards SDHC the camera on this thing goes up to 60 megapixel for photograph and it's 4k video recording mode um, the actual here is your photo resolutions for taking photos now they're different daytime versus nighttime because of um, using different lightings you have to use IR light there's a lot of differences between the, the modes for daytime picture mode you have 13 megapixel 24 megapixel 36 48 52 and 60 megapixel that's for daytime pictures photographs nighttime in picture mode you have a 2 megapixel 4 megapixel and 8 megapixel now for your video recording daytime you have 4k 30 4k 30 frames per second 2.7k at 30 frames 2k at 60 frames 2k at 30 frames 1080p at 60 1080p at 30 720 at 30 now nighttime mode you only get 1080 P by 30 frames and 720 by 30. Uh, it does record your photographs are in JPEG, your videos are MP4, so most devices on the market today uh, can absolutely see MP4 video. I don't think there's anything out there that, that doesn't. Your trigger distance for the camera, your sensors on it, are up to 20 meters and I believe that's close to 60 feet uh, your proximity sensors you have a high medium low setting you have a day mode night mode uh, built-in IR cut 850 nanometer infrared LEDs with a range of 20 meters system requirements to use your phone to connect to this camera is your iOS 9.0 or Android 5.1 and higher. It also uh, or only supports AP mode, direct video connection, easy to install and test. But I am going to um, I'm going to put this thing to work right now. I'm going to mount it right here where I'm at. Uh, we have pigs over here at this particular property. I'm going to let it sit over here for about a week. Uh, we're going to get video and pictures of whatever's here and then we're going to be moving it to a different property got a memory card in it now I am fixing to set this thing up and again if you're interested in this camera at the end of the video I will give you my final thoughts what I how I feel this camera fares out compared to others um, I'm not going to compare it to any particular camera but I, I will compare it to cameras that are in the same price point as this one. And um, everything's about money these days, and we want to make sure that we give it a fair review, um, good or bad. If it's a bad review, you will not be seeing it. I will not post a bad, bad review for anything. Uh, but the, the buttons on this thing, they're very easy to read. Very big buttons, big lettering on it. This is a colored screen. I am going to go through the setup on this thing now. Let me move the camera where you guys can see what's going on so we can do this together and you can see what I'm doing. Stand by. All right, here we go. Now, I have not done anything with this camera at all. I have not set it up. The only thing I did was I uh, plugged it in and I charged the battery. All right, we're going to go to setup. Please plug out card. Is this this card? It says see you. Okay, let's plug the card back in. That may be the wrong card. This is a different card. I don't know if it's going to work or not. Okay, I don't think this card is going to work. But I have one right here that will... 
these are some new cards that I was trying. Um, I've never used this particular card before, this brand. This is a uh, Samsung card. Well, if I can get it out. My fingers are so fat, I can't grab it. Here we go. All right, we're going to use this Delkin card. All right, now let's try it again. There we go. English, okay. 2023. What is today's date September the 14th so we'll go September the 14th time 614 so I think that's 8 18, I mean, 18. Six fifteen oh one. Okay. All right, cancel. Okay, let's go to menu. Mode, photo. Let's do photo and video. PIR interval that'll be on the 30 seconds sensitivity let's leave that on medium time lapse is off shooting mode what are my modes you can add more color to the pictures or auto let's try auto for right now IR LEDs are on auto you have off low medium and auto I'll keep that on auto low battery at night no IR LEDs or no recording on low battery mode. Let's do no recording, that way we can get pictures. Monitoring period, that's um, if you only want it to work from say 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. You can set a time and that's the only time the camera will work or the times you set up. Side PIR setup, on or off, all right, it's on frequency 60 hertz. Okay, now let's go back. How do I go back? Oh, menu. Uh, what do we need? Oh, load. Let's go back to menu. Image size. Daytime. Okay. Let's do 60 megapixel for daytime. Nighttime, 8 megapixel. Okay. Picture number, how many pictures? How many pictures does it take per trigger? It goes from one to ten. You have ten photos per picture. We'll just do one. Just one photo. Shutter speed. One thirtieth, one twentieth, or one fifteenth. We'll do one thirtieth. Alright, let's go to video resolution. Daytime, 4K, absolutely. Nighttime, yes, do 1080p for, I'm on, 4, I'm on 4K. Okay, let's go to settings, there's language, default, let's format the memory card. Okay, I'm getting it set up. Now guys, you can turn the beep off on here too. Time format, 24 hour, leave it on there. Date stamp on, beep sound, let's turn that off. Okay. Camera name. It's named TC22, that is the model. I'm just going to leave it there. 
password setting. Yes, let's try the password on my birthday. Zero, four, ooh, this is actually words. Zero, four, two, eight, April 28th. Okay, password for, to use it with the app. I'll leave that off because I don't know how to do that. Auto Wi-Fi will turn off after two minutes. Your auto power off after three minutes. Your backlight will stay on for one minute. Technical support version. Firmware update. All right, let's come back. All right. Let's see. I got it powered up right now. Yep, and it's working. So I'm going to leave it like that. It's going to take pictures and recordings of everything I'm doing right now. But that is fine. I want to see how this thing works. I'd rather have a bunch of unnecessary pictures than not have any at all. And to find out that it's a dud. That we don't want. All right, um, today um, I came out here to the woods. I've got to pull the video clips and pictures, if we have any, on the Peak TC22 solar trail camera. We're gonna get in here. I'm going to get um, 30 or 40 feet from the camera, and I'm going to use my phone and use the app, the Wildlife Cam app, to transfer the whatever data we got on it. Uh, hopefully we caught something. I've set this camera in two different areas, a different forested location, and um, I ended up getting one picture and one video clip. There just wasn't any game moving in that area. I moved it up here roughly 45 miles from the first two locations that I set the camera up. Uh, there's a little more game up here we don't have any wild pigs in this area, but we do have uh, turkeys and deer and bear, things of that sort. This particular spot, I've been real fortunate getting a lot of deer, so hopefully we got some deer. We're gonna go in here, I'm gonna set the camera up, and I'm gonna show you guys as I actually access the memory card in the trail camera, and hopefully we have video and photos in it. If we do, I am going to transfer them from the camera to my phone using the app and I want to show you guys how that works here we go all right guys the camera is right back here on this pine tree I'm roughly 30 feet from it I couldn't get no further away uh, the particular camera mount that I'm using for this camera uh, everything's too large for it to grab a hold of and uh, this is as the furthest I could get to remain within the 50 foot but I'm gonna show you guys cameras right out there let me get on this side <clears throat> all right all right this is the app I'm using wildlife cam I'm gonna click on it there's our wildlife cam app this is that camera over there I'm gonna click on it it's going to turn on the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth It'll turn the Bluetooth on first, then it'll ask me if I want to connect it to the network. All right, I'm connecting to the camera. It wants to join. It's connected, it's got the Wi-Fi on. There it goes. All right, there is, that's what the camera's seeing in real time right now. All right, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn it up. This right here at the bottom, that's my gallery. I'll put it up, and if there's any pictures on it, look at there. All right, I'm going to select all. It's got a green dot on all of them, and I'm going to hit the download right there 
and now it's downloading. Once it downloads all of those pictures, and it's going really fast, you guys. Oh, I think I stopped it. Hopefully not. All right, now that's for my photographs. See right here at the bottom? You have a camera, picture, and then a video. I'll move it over. Now it's going to show me the video clips that I have. All these are video clips. I'm going to hit all. All of them are highlighted with a green dot. I'm going to hit the download. And now it is downloading all of those clips. You can see the circle going around this first one. Once it's complete, it'll move to the second one. There it goes. And it tells you the percentage. 70, 80, 100%. 24%, 35, 47. And it'll do that for all of them. We're going to get all of these loaded over and put into my gallery. As you guys can see, the camera's way up there. It's way over there on the tree. And it's downloading them just fine. All right, let me get these downloaded onto the camera, I mean onto my phone. And then I'm going to show you some of the sample clips of what this camera caught. And then I'll give you my final thoughts on this camera um, and let you know if, in my opinion, is it a good buy? Is it a good bang for the buck for all of us here? You guys and gals and myself included. Give me a few minutes. We're going to download them. Um, it's fixing to start right here. It's still, you can see the percentage marks. When it completes one, it'll jump over to the next one. There it goes. We got a few more to do. Looks like six more maybe. And then that'll be all of the videos. And I'm doing this without going up to the camera. That's what I like about this camera. So once I get them all transferred, uh, you guys are gonna see them. Here's the pictures and clips.
All right, you guys. This is the end of the review for the Vu Peak model TC22 solar trail camera. My overall opinions of this camera, I've had, um, normally I'll, I'll put a camera to work for about a week and then I'll take whatever data I've recovered from the camera in terms of pictures and videos. Then I'll use them, look at them, see what type quality pictures we're getting. Um, I've got feed out, so if I come in there and I've got a couple of deer on picture or on, and on video, they've been in there for 20 minutes and they left, but all of the corn is eaten up. I know it'll take quite a few deer, uh, several hours to eat the corn. And when that happens, I know that the camera has not been capturing everything in front of it. With that being said, the Vu Peak TC22, nothing gets past that camera. It has captured um, anything that moves in front of it. It will absolutely capture it. The video that it uh, that it saves, the video quality is just impressive period uh, I do not have daytime video clips to show you of game animals the only daytime clips were of me in front of the camera putting out some bait to draw the animals in so that we could get these animals on on the camera to, to capture them on video uh, while I was setting the camera up you know of course it just got me during the daytime but we didn't have any animals come in during the day the only pictures daytime were me, and uh, I'm not going to share those, but the nighttime footage is just standard footage. 4K is daytime. Nighttime is 1080p. But the footage, in my opinion, that footage is phenomenal. I mean, it's really clear. You can easily tell what, like for the deer hunters, you can tell what you have. If it's a, a two-year buck, if you got a yearling, I mean, you can easily tell what it is. It's very clear if they have ticks, large ticks on the deer, they show up on the camera. It's just a very, very clear camera. Overall, I am absolutely impressed. Using the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth functions with the app that they provide, they provide you the link when you purchase this camera in the paperwork, the instruction manual, there is a QR code in there. If you'll scan that with your phone, it'll take you straight to the app store, whether it be for iOS or Android. You download the app, it's free. It is extremely simple to set up. An eight-year-old child could set that app up with no problem whatsoever. Um, when you go to set it up, you click on it, it'll, your phone will ask you to give it permission to access your photos, to uh, access the microphone, things of that sort, and you just, click yes you allow it to do that it needs access in order to work properly uh, the app has not glitched out on me I've used it approximately nine times now with no issues whatsoever I can change every setting on that camera from the app without ever physically touching the camera I've got uh, the furthest distance I was away from the camera was probably close to 50 feet and I tried the app and it worked, but you gotta be in line with it. If it's on the opposite side of a large tree, if you cannot see the camera with your eyes, it'll have a little bit of a problem connected. As long as you can see it, even if it's through brush, like some of the stuff behind me, as long as you can see the camera through the leaves, the app will connect. Um, but overall, the app, I loved it. Very simple, very easy to use. Any pictures or video clips that I wanna save, I click on them hit the download and I've got them. They're in my gallery inside of my phone. Now, would I recommend my family, my friends, those that are close to me and dear to me, all of you guys and gals, would I recommend this camera to you? Uh, I have no problem whatsoever recommending it. It is a good camera. It's really held up. The battery is at 100% and it's got, uh, we got several clips we got on it up to this point. Uh, probably around 70 video clips and uh, 70 pictures. It'll take a picture and then a video, then a picture, then a video. It'll alternate. So I've got 
uh, probably 70 of each on it. The battery is still at 100%. As long as there is ambient light, that solar panel will charge the batteries in it. Um, this camera is another winner, and I absolutely love it. I highly recommend you guys checking them out. Go to Vupeak, use the link that I've provided below for you in the description, as well as the discount code that Vupeak has provided for us. Uh, all of that will be in the description below this video. Please jump over there and check them out. I don't think that you'll have to deal with customer service. I have not had to deal with them. I've had no problems whatsoever. Very kind people uh, going through to, to get to Vupeak. They are I believe they're a sister company to Cam Park. I don't know that with certainty, but my communication to them has been through Cam Park. Uh, the camera, it, it's a winner. I just, I really love this camera and I'd like to have a few of them. Using that app, it's just a, it's a whole new ball game. I don't have to take my card reader with me. I don't have to go up to the camera, turn it off, you know, unlock it, open it up, pop the memory card out. I ain't got to do none of that. I just get within 50 feet of the camera, open my app up, went, once it connects, select the videos and pictures that I want, download them to my phone, and I'm done. I walk away, the camera stays functioning, I don't have to turn the camera on, I don't have to do anything. Just pick what you want, select it, exit out of your app, and you're finished. And the camera's still going, it's still functioning the way it's intended to function. Very good camera, very good product, I absolutely love this camera and I'd be happy if I had a half a dozen of these. I'm not having to pay for a service for these pictures to be sent to my phone. I just gotta get to where I can see the camera, get fairly close to it, open my free app, download everything for free, and I'm set. This camera's a winner. In my, in my mind, my opinion, it's absolutely a winner, and I think you guys will like it too. If you're interested, check below again in the description below this video, and you'll find the link to Vupeak You'll find the link uh, for the discount code. Don't forget to use that code. The prices on their cameras are really cheap, well worth the money, but it's even better when you can save a few dollars. Vupeak, thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for another fine product. I absolutely enjoyed this review. Another fun one. I wish we would have got animals on it at the first locations that I put it at. Unfortunately, that happens sometimes where you don't get any game. And it's a lot of wasted days, and I don't have anything to share with you. That's the reason this is taking so long. I had to move it up here. We got game on it. I'm sharing all that with you. I uh, hope you guys found those video clips and pictures interesting, to say the least. They're young deer. That's basically what we have up here, but we have a lot of them. Y'all have a wonderful day. Thank you again, Vu Peak. We'll see each and every one of you down the road. Be blessed in all you do. Be safe and be kind. And if you need to reach me for anything, my email is standinggoatsrescue at yahoo.com, and I'll see you guys again soon. Be well, be blessed.